Hey guys, now on today I'm going to show you how I make hamburgers. Now, I guess I should call them turkey burgers because I don't use ground beef. So, I'm going to take this ground beef, as you can see it's ground turkey by Genio. It's a lean, all natural. And uh, those of you that's been following me, you know I save my containers, clean them up and reuse them. I'm going to dump that in there. Put that plastic there so I can pick up that paper. Yeah. And then, once I get this all dumped and seasoned up, I'm going to move this to the side. And now, I'm going to add my seasoning. So in my seasoning, I have uh, quite a bit of seasoning. Three, uh, no, two tablespoons of garlic powder, two, three tablespoons of, of onion powder. I have um, a teaspoon and a half of, no, yeah, a teaspoon and a half of um, Mrs. Dash. I have uh, one, a half a teaspoon of crushed bell pepper and chili pepper. Hot pepper, not chili pepper, red pepper. And so, therefore, I'm going to take this and I can use this, which is a, it's a, meat former I can form my patties with this but I don't really like using it because it takes too long and it's quicker for me to just do it by hand my hands are nice washed and clean and everything all my surface everything is nice washed and clean of course and I'm just gonna go in here with my fingers and do this I actually don't like touching the meat with my fingers but I don't have my uh, I ran out of gloves and I need to get some more so I'm gonna have to do the deal and so I'm kind of dumping it in and kind of mush it around. Mix it up very well. So I'm getting it all mixed up, guys. Ugh. I don't know about you guys, but when I use pepper for some reason it always makes me want to sneeze and that's not cool to be doing that over your food but at any rate I'm mixing it up very well and I'm today I'm going to use uh, my George Foreman to get this going because I do not want to uh, fry it over the stove so I'm gonna use my George Foreman so I can get all the grease and stuff out of the patties and we're not necessarily eating them so I don't care if they you know perfectly round if you like yours perfectly round that's fine but I like I don't mind mine's being all oddly shaped that just tells me it's homemade so, but these babies are delicious. And I forgot to tell you, I did add a little paprika, uh, paprika like a tablespoon of that in my uh, mixture of seasoning. So, anyway, I'm just going to make several of this and when I get done with putting these and I love this George Foreman because you can you can uh, do a few at a time and if I was doing them if I was making these hamburgers a lot smaller then I can probably get six on here but this but because I'm making them not so small there I'm only getting four I just want to make sure that they very well seasoned and not too much seasoning on one side. Um, you know, I want to evenly distribute it. There it is. Okay, I'm going to wash my hands and come back and show you what's going on after this 
this pack. No, I'm going to actually show you me doing the rest of this stuff. So, I'll be right back. i got to wash my hands. So, yes, guys. I'm just getting... I just got the... Uh, the meat on the George Foreman, got it plugged up and it's going, going great. And then I have some of these pre, you know, shaped already. Now I'm just slicing my uh, tomatoes. Someone's been asking me about this knife I use and it's, I love it because it's definitely is very sharp and if you don't watch it it will cut your hand clean off but I got I uh, got the knife at cash and carry if any of you live at a buy a cash and carry just stop on in and, and grab a knife or two out of there it's, they're very sharp And it's supposed to be a dual use. You can, you know, do everything you want to with it. It's even sliced bread. So. So. Huh. Hold on for a minute. I got to get that up. Okay, so, yeah. I like them onions on the hamburgers. Although my boys do not like onions, my husband they don't they don't want it. But my girls and myself, whew, love me some onions on my burgers. It just makes the burger to me. Now, I don't cut that too big. It just makes the burger. So, there you have it. I'm putting that together. I think that's enough onion because just me and the, the girls will eat that. Okay, so I will be back. Just hold on a minute. Oh. I'm getting everything pre-prepped so when I get to the point where all my meat is done, all I got to do is just dig in this bowl here that I'm getting together here. And they just help themselves to fix it how they want it. So... I don't know how you do it at your house, but this is how I do it at mine. Mmm. I love me some pickles, y'all. But I can't eat them as much as I used to. But I do love me some pickles. So, I think I'm going to put these bacon in the same thing here. That way, that's all everybody got to do is just help themselves. I have the secret sauce over on the side and it's waiting for what I need and the, the other condiments like the ketchup, mustard, and all that is already ready to go. So basically, tonight is just a bacon burger and I was going to do fries but then I decided not to. So I just grabbed some chips, the um, low salted ones, and that's going to be the meal for today. Let's see how my meat is going. Oh yeah, look at that. Nice. And look at all that, all that fat coming out of there. I love the jar Foreman. Love using it. Okay, so I will be back to show you when I'm done. Okay, guys, so now what I'm about to do is take my, my buns 
and put a little butter on them. And it'll help if I turn this on. And I'm going to toast it. So, I thought my butter is not quite melted as much as I thought it would be. Now, I think what I'll do, because this butter is kind of, so I'll stab it and just do this with it. That way that'll give me butter on the, there, like that. And that's what I'm going to do. So this is the next step of me making my burgers, y'all. getting the buns together and then as you can see off to the side here I have my condiments and this is the secret sauce this is ketchup this is mustard and I, one of my daughters like barbecue sauce too so I just haven't put that out yet <clears throat> but everybody got their own flavor their own taste and it's okay but as you can see, I like this machine, this little uh, griddle because I can do, you know, three at a time. I'm gonna turn that baby up. And let's see what this is doing down here. I heard it go off. So look at that. Oh my. It went off and it's ready. So let me grab what I need and I'll be back with ya. Okay guys, so now I had to grab my my pan here so I could kind of stick these in the oven while I'm waiting on my uh, buns over there to get done. So, but just scrape it off a little bit with your little tool and you're good to go again. See that? It's coming right off. Mm, kind of. And then I'll empty that in a second. Now I got to get my hands dirty again. Ugh. But I have to touch the meat, so there we go. Put some more on. There it is. Isn't that sweet? So, anyway, let me check my... I gotta wash my hands. Okay, guys, now, as you can see, the, it's getting toasted. See that? Ooh, yes nice see that that's how you want it and then I could just turn this off real quick and show you how I do it so I'm gonna take my bottom bun stick it in my little um, tray here I'm going to I think I want a little mustard on this put some mustard on the bottom then I also put it on the top I like kind of sloppy and then I'm gonna come over here and add my bun my meat and here's my my cheese And then I'm going to stick two pieces of bacon on it. And here's my lettuce. And I'm going to put these pickles on it. Love pickles. And then last but not least, I'm going to add my tomatoes. Oh, that's, oh, my onions. Can't forget that. I 
Now there it is. Now you can add some secret sauce to it. And if you don't, that's fine too. But you put it in the microwave, warm it up for a couple of seconds, and bam, the cheese melted and you got a good burger. There it is. And then I'm gonna add these are the chips I get. They're lightly salted. 50% less sodium. Add a little chips. And I'm good to go. There it is. So, I hope this have uh, made you, you know, more a little hungry. I don't know. Uh, some always say it, it made, the food made you hungry. So, if it did, I apologize. But it's time for me. Oh, maybe I should do a great big bite, huh? Let me try it. Well, I'm going to smush mine down some because that's kind of huge. Mmm. Mmm. Now, that's a burger. Excuse me for talking with my mouth full. Mm 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 mm. I apologize, but I have to go finish this delicious burger, and I'll talk to you guys later, and have a good night, y'all, all right, because I know I am. Enjoy your meal. All right.